welcome to the celebration of Holy Communion by Bishop Cal Lippett at the Catacomb Chapel of St. Uriel of the Universal Episcopal Church. Wherever you are, especially if circumstances prevent you from receiving the sacrament physically, you are welcome to spiritually receive the sacrament here with us. Church Back Home is a presentation of the Universal Episcopal Church and the Wise Ones Net. Universal Episcopal Church is an independent religious body. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. O Almighty Lord and everlasting God, vouchsafe we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection both here and ever we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, whose never failing providence ordereth all things both in heaven and earth, we humbly beseech thee to put away from us all hurtful things and to give us those things which are profitable for us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The epistle is written in the epistle to the Romans in the 8th chapter beginning with the 12th verse. Brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body you shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not reached the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself beareth witness in our, with our spirit that we are the children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. 
the Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly <coughs> inwardly are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth for not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begot, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven. And sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the whole Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe one Catholic and Apostolic Church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You've noticed that I've added a voice in the lead-in, the intro to this, a voice I refer to as Frater Secundus. And I've also added that voice in the intro to the other video in a very different pastor's study. And so help me, we're going to get that going. We got a lot of things that are in the works, some of which stuff has arrived. I just haven't started using them yet, like zucchettos. I don't know if you know what a zucchetto is, but kind of like a yamaka. Anyway, I'm going to see what we can do to build here. Meanwhile, in the epistle, Paul is talking about a Roman-style adoption in which a person gets all the rights as if they were actually born into the new family, and yes, any connection with the old family is cut off. And he's speaking of a major change. Imagine, for instance, in the Navy, uh, an officer commanding the ship where he once swabbed the deck, somebody in the business world managing the factory where they were once on the assembly line, that big, that big of a change. And of course I mentioned a week or two ago that 
one of the things that one of my training officers used to hammer into me was, now that you've made that change, don't lose it. Now that you've become an officer, don't act like a young airman or a college frat rat. No, you're an officer. And here's the same thing, only having received the Holy Ghost. And in the Gospel, a warning. You know the tree by its fruits. And there are many who will claim to be whatever they need to claim to be to get your attention and your money. And yeah, I've seen some churches, for instance, where it was almost impossible to find, well, there were plenty of married people, but show me somebody who was still married to the spouse they had when they first joined. And others where gossip seems to be the main feature. And ostracism was the norm. Etc. I can go on. There are plenty of soap operas out there. There are plenty of various agendas that out there. There are there are priests who are want to be social workers, want to be psychologists, and they have their agendas. But you know the tree by its fruits. Look for the people who are long term happy, and long term happy in the way that they're supposed to be long term happy. Know the tree by its fruits. So would it be. God is not unrighteous that he will forget your works and labor that proceedeth of love which love ye have showed for his name's sake. Who have ministered unto the saints and yet do minister. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to continually, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, 
truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, especially Jay, John, Cassandra, Luann, Liz, Deb, Deborah, Lydia, Dorothy, Marlene, Carol, Luann, Keith, Judy, Hope, Pamela, Louis, Katrina, Mark, Bishop, and Munir, Bishop. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, especially Margot, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to good, follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy way, Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name through jesus christ our lord amen almighty god our heavenly father who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith. This is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, 
O Lord Most High. Amen. O glory be to the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For that thou, thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered. A full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed he took bread and when he had given thanks he brake it and gave it to his disciples saying take heed. This is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. For, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy Father to goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy and living sacrifice unto thee, Humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this Holy Communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction and made one body with him that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee To accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto our lasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for thee, preserve thy body and soul into everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given, which was shed for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee and be thankful.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost vouchsafe to feed us. We have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people and are also heirs through hope of Thy everlasting kingdom by the merits of His most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech Thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with Thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as Thou hast prepared for us to walk in through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with Thee in the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.